Swift is currently performing six concerts in Singapore from March 2nd to the 9th under the exclusive deal that has been drawing criticism from neighboring Southeast Asian countries. They have been deprived of the tourist boom that her concerts have brought elsewhere. Prime Minister Lee acknowledged that SWIFT received specific incentives from a government fund established to rebuild the tourism industry post-COVID-19 disruptions. Such measures were implemented to ensure that Singapore remains SWIFT's only destination in the region. Taylor Swift is performing in Singapore. We negotiated our, uh, our agencies, um, negotiated an arrangement with her to come to Singapore and perform and to make Singapore her only stop in Southeast Asia. And uh, there was a certain uh, uh, incentives provided to her from our tourism development fund, it really is a post-COVID fund, to revive tourism after COVID. And uh, a deal was reached. And so it has turned out to be a very successful arrangement. I don't see that as being unfriendly. Sometimes they, one country makes a deal, sometimes another country does. As I don't explicitly see you say you will come here only on condition that you will go other places. Uh, she came to Sydney. I think she had a very successful concert in Sydney. I don't know what the arrangements were, but I'm sure that new mutually acceptable, sensible arrangements were made. And if uh, and if that's what's needed to be done to to get um, to get an outcome which is mutually beneficial and which, from Singapore's point of view, um, serves not just to grow the economy but also to bring in visitors and goodwill from all over the region, I don't see why not. I mean, if we had not made such an arrangement, would she have come to some some place else in Southeast Asia or more places in Southeast Asia? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, these are things that she will decide.